Hello and welcome to Braintree High School for today's exclusive coverage of Varsity Baseball as your Braintree Wamps take on the Denver Marauders. I'm Mike Wassel here for VCAM TV and Braintree comes in today's action alongside Dedham with a 5-2 and two record. Both teams at that identical spot here in the season. And Braintree coming off a tough loss to Needham 6-5 yesterday in a very tough back and forth game, one that could have gone either way. Braintree battling all the way back for a 3-0 deficit before taking the lead late before Needham was able to score a couple runs in the seventh and Braintree ultimately not able to come all the way back. So Braintree coming off of an important game in before that against Framingham and then obviously the most important win of the season against BC High, a 3-2 win at CM as the pitch is outside from Fine. Fine back on the mound here today. He came in in relief for the seventh inning yesterday and back out on the hill here today. Pitched a fine game a couple weeks ago here at home. He got his first varsity win. So Powers, Maloney, and Madden, one, two, and three do up as Powers get to look in at the Braintree righty. That one's down low. The defense for Braintree across the infield is Martino at third, Creedon at short, Fripp at second, and Casey here today at first in the outfield. Kennedy in left, McDonald in center, and Files in right as that one is a check swing and no swing as Baker does the catching. So a leadoff walk to start things here in the first inning. First pitch to Maloney is down low. Runner first, nobody out here, and the pitch is driven into left field for the base hit. So a single and a walk, and things not starting well here in the first for Braintree. Well, I'm giving up three runs yesterday in the first inning, uncharacteristically. So Madden now stepping in to a board, nobody down. Let's see if there's going to be a sacrifice here in the inning. The science relayed over. Pitches outside and it's 2-0. and oh. Two oh pitch is fouled off and out of play. Good two oh pitch. Two one pitch, and that's on the outside corner for a strike. Big spot here in the top of the first for Braintree as Fine looks for a strikeout. Could certainly use it in this spot. First two aboard, nobody down. And Fine now winds and delivers. 2-2 two -two pitch, and first he's going to check off over at second base. And that throw hitting the runner in the back. As Creedon was looking to check on the bag. Again, the 2-2 pitch and a ground ball to first. Fripp with a nice play, can't make the throw on over. 
as he came deep in the hole to knock it down. Might have saved a run. So everybody reaches here on the infield single. Good range shown by Fripp at second base to come on over to stop that one down. But he wasn't able to get his throw under control. As now the base is loaded here in the first. And the Marauders threatening early here in the game to look to get the opening run of the ball game. As the pitch is down low, four ball one. So back-to-back -back lefties in the lineup, three and four. Ground ball towards second. Fripp over to second for one and no throw. Back to first as Creedon just takes the one out at the bag. So the opening run scoring here in the first on the fielder's choice. Flaherty credited with the RBI. That ball not hit hard enough to be turned into a double play. As now Leonard steps in. Runners at the corners and one down. An off-speed pitch on the outside corner for strike one. Right to defense looking for a double play to try and get out of this. Just allowing the one run. The runner's got to go. And it's an off-speed pitch to throw down to second. And it's not going to be in time as Creedon able to backhand it and keep it from going into center. Don't necessarily always th see the, thrown, the ball thrown through in that situation as the runner could head home from third, but Dedham didn't have the play on. So Braintree electing to throw through, but the runner had a good sized lead. So now runners at second and third, still just one down. And the pitch is upstairs. The importance of that for Dedham is it takes away a double play opportunity on a ground ball. Ground ball towards short. Creedon's going to have to go back to first. And the second run comes across again. So another ball that wasn't hit all that well, but it's in the right place. And the second out. So the RBI ground out to make it 2 nothing, and back-to-back -back RBIs without the benefit of a hit. Pitch to Burns and another ground ball. This time Fripp able to make the play and the throws across in time. So Braintree allows two runs in the top half of the inning. Things could have probably been a lot worse for Braintree as Dedham had the bases loaded, nobody out. And Braintree gives up two as the bat's set to come up. Braintree trails 2 nothing. Bottom of the first inning, Braintree trailing 2 nothing before they came up to bat as McDonald steps in. McDonald Quigley and Kennedy do up one, two, three here in the order for Braintree as the first pitch of the game is down low for a ball. Ground ball towards second base. And the throw across is in time. So a quick opening out here in the bottom half of the first as Quigley steps in. DHing here today, and the off-speed pitch is going to be down low for ball one.
pitch from Gillardi is high and tight. He almost wore it there. So Branch are looking to get a runner on any way they can. Pitch on the corner and it's two and one. So slow starts have been a problem for Branch the last couple games. Now, three runs in the first yesterday, two runs here today. Something Branch is not used to doing is trailing in a game as that pitch way upstairs and it's three and one. Much different lineup now for Braintree than they had just over a week ago. A few players returning and reinserted into the lineup. It's had to shift things around for Braintree's order. Quigley working his way from the bottom half of the order all the way up to the number two spot here in Braintree's lineup. The count is now full. Nobody on and one down here in the bottom of the first as Quigley looks to get on base. And he swings and misses at a pitch that might have been out of the zone for the second out here of the inning. First strikeout for Denham pitching. The so left fielder Kennedy steps in. His biggest hit of the season coming against BC High, the solo homer. That was the go-ahead run off of BC High. First pitch to the Braintree left fielder, and this one's drilled towards the gap in right center, and it's going to be caught on a line to end the inning. So Braintree goes in order, and Dedham comes up with the 2-0 lead as we head to the second. First pitch of the top of the second's grounded. Foul and out of play. That one's high and tight, and it's one on one. Seven, eight, nine, do up first here in this inning for Dedham as the pitch from Fine is drilled out towards right. Not sharply hit as Files comes on to put away out number one. Again, nothing really hit all that hard here in the game so far, but two runs coming across in the top half of the first. And all that done without the benefit of a ball out of the infield. Two ground balls that got the runners across as the first pitch to the number eight hitter is going to be upstairs. Lofted towards center as McDonald comes in and that one hangs up for the second out. So two quick outs, four fine, and Branchy certainly could use this out on the hill. A quick inning. So an F9 and then an F8 to begin the second. Pitches upstairs to the number nine hitter Clifford. Two teams, both five and two. Denham having a great start to the season as that pitch is on the outside corner to even the count at one and one. Popped up, and that's going to reach the foul territory as it's over the screen. Fine ahead, one and two. Looking to enjoy a one, two, three. Second inning. Signs relayed in from the dugout as Fine looks on. And the one, two pitch, off speed, and he just was able to get a piece of that. He was certainly off balance. Just able to get a piece. And the sign. And it's a ground ball. Two thirds. Got a roll foul.
still one and two. Two down, nobody on. Here in the second. And the pitch from Fine. He got him. For the strikeout, just the first for Fine, but it comes at a nice time here in the second inning to put down the Marauders in order. One, two, three. As Branchy comes to bat, trailing two nothing. Bottom of the second. Four, five, and six due up for Braintree. As DiMartino takes a called strike. DiMartino files Creedon here in the Braintree order. Two quick strikes, and it's 0 2. Two pitch to DiMartino, and it's way upstairs. That one's fouled out of play. Files waiting on deck. Rangers so far looking for the first hit and the first base runner. As a late swing and a miss from DiMartino, and he's down on strikes. Second strikeout so far for Leonard here on the hill. First pitch to Files is down low and outside. Not much of a wind here today, but things can certainly change quickly here at Braintree High School. Count even at one and one. Pitches outside. Pitch to Files is drilled towards second, and it gets underneath the glove. And the hot shot for the first hit of the game for Files as he reaches on the single. That one scolded up the middle. So now Creedon steps in, playing shortstop. Creedon certainly has the power. We saw it all last season. Has some pop in his bat, and now looking to get Braintree within a run with an extra base hit. Files leading on at first. And the pitch on the outside corner, four strike one. Step off on the mound and no throw over. Runner goes, the throw is a ball, the throw's down, and it's not going to be in time. So Braintree getting aggressive here in the inning, taking the stolen base, and now a single could cut the lead in half. Good opportunity for Creedon down in the number six order spot in the branchy order to deliver a base hit. Files leading on at second now with still just the one down. And the pitch is an off-speed pitch on the outside corner for strike two.
One, two pitches in the dirt. Too low for Creedon to chase. Two and two now. And the pitch is fouled back and out of play. Timeout called by the catcher. Two-two pitch, and that one laced up the middle. That's going to drop as Files heads on over to third. They're going to hold him as the throw is back in in time, and now it's going to be a crazy throw, and it gets away. Not a smart throw as that one gets by the third baseman, and Braintree gets on the board to cut the lead in half. Now a two to one game. Still just the one down and Creedon at second. The tying run at second base. The down is a single and an error. No RBI credited to Creedon there. And that one's laced up the middle and a nice play on the hop as it's on over at first for the second out. So productive out there for Casey, but now two down in the inning. So a pass ball or a base hit would tie this one at two. Baker looking for a big hit here with two down. And the first pitch is outside for ball one. Baker has struggled in the last couple games looking to come up with a big hit. On the outside corner, one and one. Two runs in the first for Denham. Braintree with one so far here in the second. And a big run at third base looking to be brought in as Baker now down the count, one and two. One, two pitch, and it's on the corner, strike three. Baker goes down looking, and the tying run stays at third. But Braintree does score a run here in the inning, and after two complete, it's 2-1, Dedham. Top of the third inning, 2-1 to one the lead for Dedham, and back to the top of the order. First pitch, and a ground ball to short. Creighton bobbles it momentarily, and he's not going to make the throw. So an error charge to Creighton at short. First pitch swing, and that one drilled towards the gap in left center as that one heads out towards the fence. The run's going to come all the way around on the double. To make it 3-1. So the error comes back quickly to haunt Braintree. On the RBI double. Pitch down low for ball one. First baseman with a single his first time as Madden steps into the box. And that one's outside.
Ground ball to first. And the out retired as Casey comes over to the bag, but the runner heads to third. So a productive out for the first out here of the inning. Runner third, one down. A three to one lead now for Dedham. And a big insurance run at third base. Flaherty had an RBI in his first at bat, a fielder's choice, and he takes a pitch of the knees for a strike. Seen a lot of signs relayed from the Dedham side to their batters. Infield in on the grass, and he looked like he went around on that pitch, and he did. So Madden losing, uh, Flaherty having the head of the bat lose control there, and that one certainly was a strike on a swing, and he swings and misses for a big strikeout as Fine gets him. Second strikeout for Fine, and now two down in the inning. So Fine looking to work around an error. And a double. Pitches outside for ball. On the corner, one on one. Off-speed pitch, swinging at it. Fine going to first, and he's got him to end the inning. A nice play on the mound as Dedham does push one across, but they leave a big run at third. And after two and a half, it's three to one, Dedham. Bottom of the third. Nine, one, and two do up for Braintree, and the first pitch to Fripp is on the corner for strike one. So Fripp coming up with a big hit in the bottom half of the sixth yesterday to put, to actually to tie the game. And now lining this one up the middle. The shortstop coming over, ranging nicely, and the throw is across in time. the top of the order as McDonald looks in. Grounded out to second his first time and he tries to lay down a bunt and that one's fouled off. I think McDonald decided to do that one on his own. It didn't look like Coach O'Connell was sending down a sign. He's trying to get on base. One pitch, and McDonald drives this one out towards center. And the center fielder tracking back to put away the second out. That one carrying a little bit at the last second. And nearly overrunning it. First pitch to Quigley, and it's on the corner for strike one. Quigley struck back in the first. And now it's a 1 1 count. So, a strikeout in his first appearance, looking to get on base with two down here in the inning. Off-speed pitch, and it's outside. Leonard allowing 
one run so far through the first two and two thirds. And that one is out of the zone for ball three. Off looking for a two out base runner. And the pitch to Quigley. It's inside ball four and a two out walk. Brings up Kennedy, a left fielder. Flew out to right field his first time. And a meeting at the mound quickly. As this brings up the number three hitter in Braintree's order. DiMartino waiting on deck, looking, or at least hoping to get a chance here in the inning. Let's see if Braintree stays aggressive. They had a stolen base last inning as Files swiped a bag. And he came around to score. Quickly leading. And the first pitch to Kennedy is fouled off and out of play. Actually, no, it's going to stay in play as it bounces just next to the fence. It looked like it was going to carry out. Certainly not an easy play, but that one was closer than I anticipated. Not much foul territory here at Braintree High School, but that one was certainly playable. Would have made it a perfect play to get it, but check on over, and that one nearly thrown away. Could be looking to get a good sized lead. He might take off here especially if Kennedy gets down the count. Pitches outside, and it's 1-1. One one. One, one pitch, runner won't go. Ground ball up the middle, and it gets through as Kennedy heads over to third, and he'll get there. So a ball that nearly hit the bag somehow found its way under the shortstop's glove. And Braintree now in business. So Kennedy with the single. And now the tying run at first base. 3-1 to the lead for Dedham as DiMartino hits in the cleanup spot. Struck out his first plate appearance, looking for a base hit. A single would bring Brant to within one, and an extra base hit could tie the score. Pitch, first pitch, and that one's fouled back over the screen. Looking to hit one on the line here. Now a meeting at the mound as the whole infield is going to come on, minus the first baseman. Probably discussing what they're going to do in case Braintree sends the base runner from first base. So a steal here for Kennedy would put runners at second and third, and the tying run in scoring position. Braintree threw through in the same situation back in the first. The runner didn't head home on that attempt. Quigley at third, Kennedy at first. All this with two outs. Marauders looking to fight through and get out of the inning on Scave. The runner goes, are no fakes. Looked like Kennedy was trying to get in a rundown there if the throw was through. Signs relayed through, both to Kennedy at first and the batter, DiMartino. Pitch is down low. A pass ball would also get a run across. Certainly have to have trust in your catcher with two down and a runner at third to throw an off-speed pitch. Anything that bounces has got to be stopped. 
small lead this time for Kennedy. And again, he bluffs as this one heads over towards the stands. Now two strikes to DiMartino. Let's see if they try and get him to chase a pitch here. Interesting spot. The pitch. It's an off-speed pitch on the corner for strike three. He caught him looking. So Braintree leaves the tying run on base. And they trail three to one after three complete. Top of the fourth inning, a 3-1 to one lead for Dedham Braintree, leaving two runners on last half as this one is grounded towards first, and it's foul. Probably would like to see Casey try and grab that one before it goes foul in that situation. The more you let that one roll on the infield, it can certainly roll foul, or vice versa, it could stay fair. So... It's kind of a double-edged sword as that one's outside for ball one. That one skips in, and it's 2-1. and one. Both teams with plenty of base runners. Both sides leaving a ton of men on base at this point here in the game as this one's lofted out towards left and it's going to drop foul. Kennedy had a long run to get there. Certainly wasn't going to get there in time. But now down in the count and fine looking for a strikeout. Got two of those through the first three inning. That one's hit out towards left. Kennedy coming in, and he's not going to get there. It's going to drop right in front. And a leadoff single to begin things here in the fourth. Another good spot for the Marauders. Let's see as they move down closer to the bottom half of the order if they're going to sacrifice here with nobody out. Frank Tree expecting something similar to that as they have the infield in. No throw down to first. Acosta flew out to right field his first time. Looks to be squaring, and he takes it back again. The runner this time will go, and the throw is not going to be in time. So a stolen base of second, and now another run in scoring position. Pitch, and a late swing, and that one's foul. If you're dead, you want to try and hit it to the right side of the infield if you can. Try and get that run over to third, but could also sacrifice if you would like. Off-speed pitch, and this one lofted towards center. It's going to get down, and the run is going to be sent home. As that one is going to be a base runner coming home. So the fourth run coming across. Here was still nobody out. The throw from McDonald wasn't cut off. Would have been a pretty close play at the plate. The meeting now at the mound. 
as Cam Fox, the pitching coach, comes out to talk things with the infield. Frenchie hasn't been able to keep the Marauders off the base pass. A couple stolen bases, an error. Those things that have really hurt Branchy here in the game. The bunt is laid down and is going to draw a foul. That pitch was very high, the bunt. Surprised he actually got that one down. Actually sounded like it hit off the plate. So the Womps definitely now expecting the bunt to have Casey all the way in at first. Tries to bunt it again. Baker comes over and he's not able to die for it. Good attempt behind the plate. Now down the count 0-2 after not getting the job done at the plate. Has a chance to swing away, but this would certainly be a tough situation if he's not able to get the runner over. Had two prior chances, and now the 0-2 pitch is outside. pitch and this one's fouled off and out of play. This one popped up in the infield. Baker's there. He discards the mask and puts it away for the out. A nice play by Baker behind the plate. It was actually a step in fair territory when he put that one away. So Gillardi not getting the job done down at the number eight position, not getting the runner over. And as you're tired on the pop-up to the catcher, brings up the right fielder. Clifford, he struck out his first time. That's Rancher again, looking to keep the runner close at second. Pitch is low for ball one. A lot of movement along the bases, a lot of signs, a lot of talking from the coaching staff to the players for this Dedham team. Two and oh. Could be a take situation here down at the bottom of the order. Two oh, right down the middle, four strike one. He was taken all the way. ball foul of third. So battling back from a 2-0 count deficit. Now it's 2-2 as Fine looks to get Clifford for the second time here in the game. And the 2-2 is upstairs. I wonder if they're going to send the runner here on a full count. 
one down in the inning. Runner doesn't go, and that one's lofted towards short as Creedon has stepped back on the grass to put it away for the second out. Back-to-back pop-ups in the infield. A 4-1 to one lead for Dedham, but Braintree has done well to limit the damage here in the game. Back at the top of the order, and the first pitch is outside as Powers takes a look at it off the corner of the plate. Late swing and a miss on a good fastball from Fine. One one, and that's on the corner, strike two. Fine now just a strike away from getting out of the jam. Branch's bats are going to start to need to warm up, especially when it gets into that scoring position. They've had base runners, but now they need that timely hit. But first things first, Fine's got to get out of this. The one two pitch is fouled out of play. I was reaching twice, but to be retired for the first time, he walked and reached on an error. Fine gets the signs and the one-two pitch, and he got him. Got him to wave at a pitch that was certainly out of zone as Fine works around. A couple runners there in the inning, but Dedham able to score one more, and they take a four-to-one lead through three-and-a-half. First pitch swing and a foul ball. That was a hot shot from Files and just wide. That was extra basis. Files Creed and Casey do up, and now Files down the count 0 and 2. Had a single his first time. And the 0 2 pitch is upstairs. One 2 pitch. And Files lofts this one towards third, and it's going to be grabbed. Sound like off the end of the bat. One down for Creedon. Singled his first at bat. And takes a pitch on the corner for strike one. French has had trouble getting the leadoff runner on, which has caused some issues here for this offense to get started. That's when Branch is at their best when they get the leadoff runner on. They got so many things to, they can do. Steal a base, sacrifice, really starts big innings. They haven't been able to get those innings going. Creedon chases a pitch, and he fouls it off the screen. One and two. 
to the branch of shortstop, and that one's out of the zone. Two, two pitch, and it's a ground ball to second. Throws a little bit low, but it's out number two. Brings up Casey with nobody on, and now two down here in the inning. Casey had to sacrifice his first time. And the first pitch is out of the zone. Two and zero now. Baker awaiting a chance on deck. Two and zero the count. And a line drive out towards right. That's going to drop for a base hit. And a two out single for Casey. So that gives an opportunity for the Braintree catcher Baker to step in. Womps could really need a base hit. We're waiting for that big hit. The last couple games certainly could use it here. And the first pitch is fouled over the screen. Don't want to count. Casey leading at first and the pitch has popped up in the infields. That's playable at short. And the out is made as Baker retired. Now 0 for 2 here in the game and Braintree trails 4 to 1 through 4. Top of the fifth, 4 to 1 lead for Dedham and the first pitch is in there for a strike from Fine. Maloney, Madden, and Flaherty, 2-3-4 for Denham in the inning. Richard really desperately needs a clean inning here. Already trailing by three runs. Had trouble scoring here in the game, and any more runs would make it hard to come back. Ground ball up the middle and a base hit. Three for three now for Maloney. Two singles and a double. Nobody warming for Branching in the pen. Casey holding the runner on at first and a ground ball through the left side. like Creed may have been a little bit closer over to second base trying to get in that position in case of a steal and it backfired against Braintree there as that one was probably back more closer to his normal position at short but now a double play depth brings up Flaherty I wonder if they're going to sacrifice here with nobody out in the inning trying to get two runs over. And he is sacrificing. He pulls back. The throw's down a second. He's got to be, oh, look like he was out. I 
That was a close play at second as Baker threw behind the runner. The throw was certainly there before the runner, but the tag must have been high. Ground ball back. The throw down is going to be the first. And the sacrifice is successful. That could have been two for Braintree in the infield. Fine had the right idea. He was going to go to third base. And DiMartino was there, but he didn't decide to go that way. Instead, takes the short route at first. We'll go down as a sacrifice, but it really wasn't the expectation. That could have been two. First pitch is outside of the zone, and it's ball one. Allen gets away from Baker and scoring from third on the wild pitch. Now a five to one game and the runner from second moving up to third. Still just one down infield in all the way around for Braintree. Pitches a strike. Down low. Lace through the middle for a base hit. That one opens it up here in the fifth. And now a five run lead. Expect to see some stirring in the pen for the Womps. ball off the screen still just one out in the inning two runs have already come across and a six to one lead that one skips in the runner won't advance Pitch is down low. Foul back and out of play. balls here in the game have found holes in the Braintree infield as this one's hit out towards center as McDonald has a beat on it and he's going to put it away for the second out. Go down as a routine fly to center as McDonald looked to throw that one in towards first a pretty close play. Base hit through the left side of the infield, and another hit here in the inning. 
Second hit for Acosta. And Fine getting hit hard here in the inning. Four hits already in the inning. Two runs have already come across, and two runs are on the bases. Runners at first and second, two down. And the pitch is outside for ball one. Popped up, and that's going to reach the backstop. Based up the middle, base hit. As McDonald comes in, here's the throw to the plate. It's going to be a close play, and it's not going to be in time. And now, Braintree has the runners in a rundown and tagged out in between second and third. Are the Marauders, but they do get the run across to make it 7 1. But a little bit too aggressive on the base pass there. So the Womps trail by six runs. It, it is seven to one, heading into the bottom half of the fifth. Bottom half of the fifth, and Braintree in need of a rally, trailing by six runs as the Womps have nine, one, and two due up here in the inning. Womps now with double barrel action in the pen. And crept down on the count, 0-2. Hey, hey, 0-2 and grounded towards second. The throw is in time for the out. to the top of the order for the third time here in the game and Braintree desperately needs a spark. Ground ball up the middle and a base hit for McDonald. Hardly hit and right back up the middle. Very rarely does McDonald go 0-4 in a game. So one out hit, looking to jump start the offense. This is the part of the order you would like to have up. We now are at the top of the order. Check on over at first and not in time. Still plenty of time. Right, you're still having three innings, including this. Try and get those six runs, but not all going to happen at once. They're going to have to chip away. And that one's upstairs. steps in and the pitch it's away two and all the count two quickly McDonald leading at first and the pitch it's down low and McDonald will head down to second he'll get there easily without the throw Looking to get back in the game one run at a time. 
McDonald now at second. And Quigley well ahead in the count. Pitches down low and a four pitch walk. Second time here today that Quigley has drawn a walk. So two on now here in the fifth and it brings up Kennedy. Everybody's gonna have to start swinging and hitting for this Ranger team. They can certainly score runs. They've done it this season a lot, but the last couple games haven't scored as many as they'd like. It can all happen quickly in the sport of baseball as Kennedy takes a swing and he drives one out towards right, but it's going to carry more over towards center as McDonald heads back to the bag at second. Swing at the first pitch was Kennedy. That one a little bit up in the zone. Maybe a little bit too high to drive. Got a pretty good swing on it, but... Now it brings up DiMartino, who struck out both times. Once looking, once called. Looking to atone for his prior two strikeouts with the base hit here. Wamps desperately need a base hit. Try and get right back into this. You don't know how many more chances that Branch will have on offense with runners on base as we play here in the fifth. Just set up in innings this year versus the nine from last. The pitch to DiMartino grounded up the middle to short. The throw is across and in time to end the inning. So the Womps again leave two more on and we're through five at 7-1. Top of the sixth inning here at Ranger High School and the new pitcher on is McGrath. First pitch is inside. Oh, he's going to call strike. Late call from the umpire. Two quick strikes. to the count to the number nine hitter Clifford 0 for 2 in the game and the 0-2 is swung on a miss strike three. Second time Clifford struck out in the game back to the top of the order four powers fourth time through now the order a 7-1 lead for the Marauders here on the road, looking to pick up their biggest victory of the season against Braintree. Womps right now in danger of dropping their second in a row as that pitch stays inside for ball one. in there for a strike. And it's three and one now. Swing and a miss. It's full. And that one hits him. So Powers reaching for the third time without the benefit of a hit. A walk and error and a hit batter.
Breaking ball in there for a strike. Righteous defense looking for a double play. Off speed pitch inside. So Maloney, three for three in the game. Two singles and a double. Looking to be retired for the first time here today. Just missing. Pretty good spot down on the bottom half of the zone. Not getting the call. Check on over. Pretty close play. off and out of play. One out in the inning as McGrath looks in. And that one's out towards right field over the head at second base. Maloney keeps his perfect game going. Four for four now at the plate. And his third single of the game. So Rantry now really shifting around the defense. Andrews in it short. Quigley's moved over to third base. And Adams playing at second base here. There's one down, first and second, and that one's fouled off. <laughs> Fly ball out towards center, heading back towards the wall. And that's going to one-hop it. And nobody's going to score on about a 350-foot fly ball towards center. That one was really hit well. Almost carried out of here, but it took a one-hop off the wall. And now the base is loaded. Still just one out. McGrath got the first batter on strikes. And since then, a pair of hits and a hit batter. Infield comes in all the way around. And this one's lofted out towards left. As the out is made in left. And both runners will advance. One will score on the sack fly. Also, lot now playing in left field, just made the out. So the second out comes on a sack fly to make it an eight to one game. Two outs in the inning, runners at the corners. Pitches away.
Another pitch out of the zone. Three out of the zone, and it's three and zero. Oh. Check on over at first. Three and one. Three one is fisted out towards right, and that's going to drop right in front of Files. And another run comes across. to the catcher Burns. One for three in the game. Two runs already crossed here in the inning. And the pitch is outside. Fly ball out towards left, and that's going to carry out a play. Steps off on the mound. Two and one the count. Two down in the inning. Two runs pushed across so far. And still two runners on. Three and one. Probably have a green light here, up by eight. Three one pitch, and he does have the green light. He swings and misses. Person second, two down, full count. And the pitch is a swing and a miss. Held on to. Behind the plate for the final out. But two more runs pushed across for the Marauders to make it 9-1 to one as we head to the bottom of the sixth. Bottom of the sixth inning, and the first pitch to Files is outside. Pitch fouled over the screen. One for two for files here in the game. A single back in the first. Or rather back in the second. Off speed pitch and a swing and a miss. He fooled them.
another off-speed pitch, this time missing, evening the count at 2-2. Two and two. Fouled off and out of play. Two pitch, two files, and that one's upstairs. Throw whatever time the branch you needed the leadoff runner on will be right now, trailing by eight runs. And that one's laced down the line to fair ball. Oh, they're going to call it foul. That looked like right on the chalk. Second time in the game that Files has laced one down the left field line. And both times, it's been called foul. That was close. Couldn't have missed by more than inches. Hard shot down the left field line. Still a 3-2 count. Two fouls. And the pitch is way out of the zone. Ball four. So the leadoff runner reaching, and it brings up Andrews, who came into the game defensively for Creedon, and now is batting his spot. First pitch to Andrews is on the corner, strike one. Andrews has swung a pretty good bat to begin the season. Takes it outside. Off speed pitches outside. Two and one. A lot more balls being thrown here in the inning by Leonard than he had all the entire game. Leonard leading at, uh, Files leading at first as Leonard looks on and delivers a pitch for a swing and a miss. Two and two the count to Andrews. Nobody out here in the bottom of the sixth. And the pitch is a swing and a miss, strike three on the late swing from Andrews. One down for Casey. Off-speed pitch in there for a strike. A one. That one gets away from the catcher as Files heads over to second. comes out. Quick beating. Casey looking to drive a pitch as that pitch is outside.
Another pitch out of the zone. Already one walk in the inning. And now another opportunity to get on base here for Braintree. Pitch on the corner. Four strike. Count now full. Brown ball back to the mound. And it throws down in time. And the day is done here today. Five and two thirds from Leonard on the mound. Just allowing the one run to a very good Braintree team. And he gets a round of applause from the crowd here, as well as high fives all the way around on his way into the dugout. So we'll take a quick break here as we have a pitching change here at Braintree High School. New pitcher on here in the sixth with two down and the first pitch to the pinch hitter as Lawton takes a pitch down low for ball one. Maloney in the pitch. Coming over from second base. Piles at third, two down here in the inning. And the pitch is a breaking ball, just going to miss. Ground ball towards second base, and that's going to get by him. So Brantry gets the second run as the error of second. Brings up Adams here in the number nine spot hitting for Fripp. So the Womps getting a run here in the inning, thanks to the error at second. That one gets away, and Lawton will head to second. Skips in and a nice play behind the plate. Another pitch out of the zone. second and a pitch ground ball two third and the throw is in cross and in time two in the inning Braintree gets one but they leave a runner at second and we head to the final seventh inning here at Braintree High School the Womps down 9-2 top of the seventh inning here at Braintree High School and the new pitcher on as the first pitch that Young delivers is lined into center field for the base hit. First pitch is ball one. Oh. 
101. Ray now playing first base. Some substitutions continue. Two and one. We had off runner on. Nobody down here in the seventh. Nine to two the lead for Dedham and the pitch is inside for ball three. One pitch and a swing and a miss. Three two ground ball to third, and that's going to be knocked down by Quigley. But it's going to reach another runner at first. Off-speed pitch in for a strike. here in the seventh inning. First two have reached. Stop behind the plate. And it's two and one. Late swing and a miss, two and two. Two two and just off the plate. Full count. And the pitch is fouled off and out of play. That one clobbered out to left center. That's going to get all the way to the wall. That's going to score at least one. They're going to send the second run. He'll come across to make it an 11-2 game. nobody out in the inning. Young hasn't retired anybody since coming on as that's ground ball to second. Finally the first out for Braintree.
Runner heads over to third on the ground ball to the right side of the infield. Our speed pitch in for a strike. Swing and a miss. Another ground ball at second. Another run will come across, but the second out here of the inning. Lead is now 12-2. Here with two outs in the seventh. Certainly going to be one of the biggest defeats that Braintree has suffered in a long time. As the pitch is outside. Fly ball out towards left. That's going to drop if it's fair, and it's foul. up on in the infield. This should end the inning. As quickly puts it away to end the inning. Braintree heads to bat, trailing 12-2. Bottom of the seventh and the first pitch is away for ball one. Leadoff batter is Whalen for the Wamps. Grounder foul, a third. Pitch down low. Fly ball out towards center. Playable for the first out here in the seventh. First pitch and a swing and a miss. Popped up on in the infield and first baseman puts it away. Two quick outs. Here in the seventh.
Carney hitting now, getting his first plate appearance, and following this one out of play. Right, you're down to the final out here in the game. Going to drop to five and three on the season as this one's fouled off and out of play. Now down to their final strike. Ground ball foul of third. Ball down low. Fly ball out towards left. And it's going to be put away for the final out. Here are the ball game as Dedham wins this one here today. 12 to 2 over Braintree as the Wombs drop to 5 and 3 on the season. Back to back losses for Coach O'Connell's team, which Braintree hasn't had happen in a while, as the Wamps suffer their third loss of the season. And now a big stretch coming up with two of the next three games coming up against Newton North, as the Wamps lose today. And things just really never got started. Braintree trailed after a half inning 2 nothing, and things really came unglued from that point on, as Braintree falls here today as they move on and now have a couple looming tests against the Tigers from Newton North. Two big games against their arch rival coming up later on in the season. For the final time here from Braintree High School, for Genevieve Rigoli, I'm Mike Wassel. We'll see you next time.